All right, we wanted to make a video regarding uh, 3S GTE, 5S FE, and uh, some of the billet cranks that are out there on the market. We get a lot of questions regarding stroker setups for the 3S, um, standard 3S cranks, you know. There's a lot of misconceptions thinking that a lot of guys need to make the, and build these stroker motors, better said. Um, and we've had a lot, a lot of good success with all of the 3S powered uh, drag stuff we've done in the past and uh, we plan on pushing still even that video I put up of my buddy's MR2 runs a standard 3s crank 5s block and they're great they're great revers the combination works well the rod ratio is good um, doesn't screw up a lot of things so I wanted to go over some of the different cranks we have here um, here's an actual stock brand new core 3s crank um, Again, we've had a lot of, lot of good success with this crank right here. <clears throat> we've made as much as 1146 to the wheel. And that was at 47 pounds of boost where we actually stopped on the dyno. This crank has seen as much as 200 mile an hour at about 55 pounds of boost. Um, we did have an issue where we started to bend the crankshafts, which is when we switched over to a custom billet crank, as you see here. This is made in the USA. Uh, this is actually for a very good Japanese customer of ours. It's heading off to Japan in the next couple of weeks. So I wanted to snap some video of it real quick, um, show everybody same basic dimensions everything nothing's really changed other than it's full billet super strong uh you could see here how we don't reduce any material to keep the strength so they don't so they don't bend or do anything kind of funny um this crank is good for upwards of pretty much whatever you want to throw at it probably uh 16 17 1800 you know if you can get the power out of it um Next is the 5S crank, the infamous 5S crank that everybody always <clears throat> builds in their stroker setups. This is a brand new crank also. Um, customer brought us a setup to check everything out. We got his block machine work done for him and stuff. Um, this is the one that has the, the gear for the balance shafts on the bottom of the block for the 5S motors. Um, still super strong piece. We actually don't use these or really have much experience with them. So uh, we hope to in our next drag setup, we're going to try a couple different combinations because I like to put a lot of real world testing out there. You know, anything we sell here, anything we uh, tell our customers or, you know, give advice about is, is what we've tried, what we've ran, um, things we've pushed in the drag strip that most people don't. So we're, we're pretty good on the information we give you. Um, this particular piece is a 95 millimeter stroker setup from Brian Crower. Um, we're going to put this whole setup together. It's not going to be a big power setup. They actually bought the setup for, uh, older TE 27, similar to this one. It's a black Corolla they're building up in New York. Um, I think it's too much stroke, but they're only going for about 650, which this should make real, real easy. Um, so there's, uh, some basic feedback on the cranks again and, uh, all new pieces here. This one was lightened up. They drilled it all the way through. And uh, believe it or not, the two heaviest cranks here are the stock 3S and the stock 5S. Next, I wanted to give you guys a little heads up on some of the dampers we have and sell and uh, 
some of the external wet sump pumps and dry sump pumps and kits we make and things like that because I always tell all my customers I always tell everybody always calls me and they're like man we want to make a thousand horsepower and I'm like well that's that's great but uh unfortunately the 3s's biggest drawback is the oiling system and I personally don't like to push them very much um I'll put a clip here of our drag setup we used to run that would rev way past 10,000 rpm <laughs> It did use a dry sump pump and once you nail the oiling system down in the 3s they're pretty much unstoppable like we haven't reached the limit yet to where the motor doesn't stop revving rpm wise and uh keeps basically making power um we have some buddies over in malta that run a, a dragster setup <laughs> He's pushed the motor. They've over revved it to 11,000 RPMs. Bearings come out looking brand new. So here's uh, our little mandrel that we have. We make these nuts just so you could kind of turn the motor. This is a strictly drag race damper that we that we get. And uh, here's your 5S, 3S damper. And then this is your ribbed version. And this also fits this setup as well. So. Um, just an option customers if they really want to push it uh, go for that reliability um, all of our pump kits we always get come with the external setup for the mechanical fuel pump um, this setup's going to Japan also with that that same billet crank we showed you guys up there and it's just a nice piece it's easy to work with it's uh it, it makes the most sense to do it when you buy the pump because to send this back is uh it's not very cost effective Here's another three-stage sump setup with the mechanical pump adapter. This is actually going to go in the silver MR2, Danny's MR2. So we have some big plans with that car. So definitely stay tuned and see what we're going to do there. It's going to be real fun. We're just keeping it quiet. Um, we'll come out with it once it's all ready to go. He's still driving it daily. So he's having fun with that thing. And then um, over here, wanted to show you guys some blocks that we're working on. Um, that they're going to be sent out uh, This one's actually going to Malta and you can see Fully cemented blocks. These are all drag setups And then this one is going to a good buddy of ours in Aruba our billet main caps um, Once you main cap the motors man these things again are pretty much unstoppable uh, here is another we fully cemented this one as well so you get a good idea of the cement in there so keep the cylinder strong um, and so these are gonna be shipped out uh, these cars won't be built here but uh we'll post up some more stuff um, I hope this helps gives you guys some insight on the crankshafts again and uh don't get confused if you're trying to build a 3s you think you need a ghost stroker you don't have to this makes plenty of power very reliable easy to get parts for which is why i always recommend it bolts right in a 5s block no problem deck heights are the same everything is exactly the same um so don't be deterred by that or think you're gonna lose out if you don't run the stroker setup because you won't all right hope this helps guys again uh tell your friends like subscribe i appreciate all the new subscribers we've gotten in the last month or so and uh, i'm gonna keep going with the videos so stay tuned